Hello guys, welcome to ECTV Presents Tech, uh, Tech View, another episode. So today, actually, I'm going to discuss about like how you can create Mac virtual machine on your BM or ESX environment. Um, if you try to search, like search on, um, online, like you can get a lot of um, documents, how you can do that on VMware um, workstation and also uh, what the virtual box. But if you can do that on your ESX side, that will be like more flexible um, and reliable. But there is a lot of, um, there is a lot of configuration involved with uh, create, like uh, deploying a uh, Mac computer on ESX environment. The other thing is Mac, uh, if you want to install any Mac OS on any hardware, you cannot do that. You cannot do on a regular laptop. So it's, the, the Mac requirement, like um, Mac is like from Apple. Uh, so Apple required to have the Apple's own hardware to install the Mac OS. So today I'm gonna to show you without Mac hardware, without uh, Apple hardware, like how you can do that on your ESX environment. Let's get started. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, and I'm going to jump to my uh, environment. So basically, um, this is my environment. All right. So I have some host here. Um, one of the hosts, I'll, I'll, I'll try to make comfortable to create a buster uh, Mac, uh, Mac OS. So before you install Mac OS, that means you try to create a Mac virtual machine, right? That means you are trying to deploy and for deploying the Mac virtual machine, you have to install Mac OS. And it depends on what kind of OS you're going to install, but before you install that, you have to make your ESXi host compatible for Mac OS. So to create a uh, compatible uh, ESXi, you have to run. So first you have to need, you have to have a ISO file for, um, for an ISO file uh, for Mac OS. It depends on you, uh, you which one you want. So I already downloaded um, Mac OS, Carolina, Mac OS, Mojave, Mac OS High Sierra, and also there's a new Mac OS, which is, uh, which is this one, uh, Big Sur. So it depends on you, which one you want. So I already downloaded and I already uploaded to um, my data store, I saw data store, so I have all three versions available here. And now it depends on which one I want. The other thing is, you have to have an unlocker. So unlocker means you have to download the unlocker master. So if you search in Google, um, uh, what is it called? The BMR unlocker for Mac OS. You'll get, uh, from, you'll get that from a lot of sites, but all the unlocker is not reliable. That, all the unlocker doesn't have the ESXi uh, unlocker. So you see here, I download here. I actually I downloaded four fives and nothing worked out. VMware unlocker 3.0.2. This is for actually workstation. So make sure you have to have ESXi unlocker one, which is I downloaded from the other side. Yes, ESXi unlocker master. And you guys do need to be worried because I will I will share this one. Um, and also I give a uh, uh, URL. I will upload it to one of my data store, one of my like storage side, and I will give the link to the uh, description box so you, you guys can easily go there and download it. All right, so for now, uh, what I need, I need to unlock the ESXi host first to make the ESXi compatible for Mac operating system. So, um, how I can do that. So before I do that, I have to do one thing. First, I have to enable SSH on the host, on the VMware host, which one I want. 
I want to I want to uh, the product be a be a network vegan. So I choose my second host here, nested host ba uh, two So uh, with this host, I just select the host and then go to the configuration. This is my vCenter, and from there, I need to check out um, services. So SSH, SSH is stopped. So you have to enable the SSH first. So SSH is enabled. Now I can use Paddy or other tools to log into the host. Now I'm going to minimize this window and I want to show you guys something else. So you need two tools sometimes. Paddy, I believe you guys already know about the Paddy. And also in SCP, in SCP is if you want to upload any file to the SXI or the center, you need these tools in SCP. So in SCP is a free tools. You can install anytime, just uh, search in Google, in SCP download, and then you get it, just download it and install it. And through these tools, you can upload the file to the SXI. So why you need to upload the file? Because you have to install the SXI unlocker inside the ESX side. So you need to upload the file inside the ESX side. How you can do that through these tools, or you can upload it to, or you can upload it to um, get us to anywhere, anyway. So the, I use uh, WinSCP. So if you want to use WinSCP, how you can do that? So I need to log in there. So uh, with that address, uh, 192.168. Dot thirty dot four is my host, and then let's provide the username, the root, and password is my password. All right, so I love you. Now, why you why why you can dump it? Why you can dump it? Um, anywhere, any place. But I I actually choose TM file. This is the TM file. Yeah. Double click on it. And here I want to dump it. So this is this is the ESX site inside inside the ESX site, and this one is your laptop. You press. So you have to choose the location where you download this file. Must okay. Uh, I'm going to go here, browse, uh, download, okay. I'll download, and uh, ESX site. Okay, and click okay. So this is the location and this is the file is example. And if you click double click, it's gonna look like this. So I'm going to go back one step. So this is the actual file. I need to dump it. So I just drag and drop here. So the file is inside now on the under the time folder inside the music side. So this part is done. Now you don't need to, if you want, you can just uh, close it or you can just minimize it. Now, all right. Okay, just ignore it. It's nothing um, because the time is showing. All right. Um, so now I need to do the party session. So the party, uh, that means I have to log into the set side to the party tools. Dot dot twelve, which is my IP address, and enter, accept, and then pass up to all right. I already logged in my ESX. Now, I just make it a bit more. Don't be confused. All right, so. Um, what I need, I already logged in. I just need to go um, my temp folder, right? So the, so the command is cd. If you want to do, if you want to go inside of any folder, you just you have to type cd then the folder name. The folder name is tmp, right? And tmp, and so now I'm inside of tmp. Now I need to actually see how many folder inside the tm temp folder. So how you can do that in LNX, the same command, ls space hyphen l. That means it will give you options to see what inside. So 
So basically, right now I'm able to see this exercise on local three one, which is my target, and I need to go there. And also the on the left side, see here from like this one says G R W X R X R X R W R. All these are rights permissions. You have to realize access on that specific uh, uh, directory or folder. So the directory read write and something. So if you want to give this one like completely full access, then that case you can do chmod. This is the next command. chmod and then for the full one is if you type triple seven and then uh, type the directory name which is esx. Okay, all right. So I did it. Now after that I will check again ls minus l. Then we will see the difference. Let me see the difference here. Okay, all right. So ls minus l. See now the difference. Now it has all kind of permissions. All right. So now I need to go inside of ESX site on local. How I, how I can go there? The same way you have to do cd space esx tab. Then you get the whole thing. You don't need to write everything. Then hit enter. Now I'm inside of this Excel unlocker directory. I need to, to see what kind of file inside there. That's why what I have to do, I have to do the same thing, same command, ls space minus L. Then we will see. <clears throat> now my target is to install the ESX site, installer.sh, that one. So how I can do that? So there is a way that you can do that, which is um, first, first, before you install, you have to give that like uh, full access on this file. <clears throat> but right now, <clears throat> permission was this, this one doesn't have that much permission. So how we can do that? The same thing, ch mod seven space, and then esx. Now I say like, you don't need to type everything. You just need to hit tab and it's gonna give you the whole thing. So, but in here you will not get it because we have ESXi hyphen installments, ESXi hyphen SM, a lot of things, right? With the ESXi. In that case, you have to specify at least ESXi hyphen, then again I. So it's not, not none of the other uh, files with this name. So and in that case, you can just hit tab in that whole thing. Hit enter. So we already provide the permissions. Now I need to check actually uh, the file is getting getting the uh, actual uh, permissions. So ls minus l. Now we can see see the difference. See the difference here. All right. So now we are ready to install. It. How we can install it? Dot, dot slash um, forward slash. And then ESXi hyphen i, and then tab. You get the whole thing and then hit enter. So install unlocker dot tg log cam and copy unlocker to the to double unlocker to the double and add model to use success. So actually, I just need to see this message success. Please now restart the server. You can see we do it. Now we can see the progress here. So I'm already done, right? So let's see, instead of I already, I already run the command for reboot. I can see. Uh, I can see my so I already hit command for reboot. It's going to be starting to see here. This is shutting down. It's going to be shutting down right now. Just, you just have to wait a little bit. So 
So, right now, after it's rebooted, so ESXi is ready to install uh, macOS. That means the, this ESXi is compatible for macOS. Just wait a little bit to boot it up. All right, so now you see here it shows when I uh, rebooted the SXI, it says uh, UFI CPU boot failed. So you you can get the same thing uh, because you know, actually, this is not my physical machine, that's why I'm getting this. Um, so this is my virtual machine, I can easily change it. Yeah, uh, cut off this one. This is nested SXI. I can change any time. I just power off. And I'm going to do reduction. Room option. Load. Now, problem again. I just want to the security and let's see the settings now. Around here, okay. So it's loading, just wait a little bit. So my host has a BSM configured, that's why it's taking time to verify the BSM. That's why it's taking too long. But, uh, if you do any physical mission on your environment, it shouldn't be take that long. All right, so our host came back um, now. I need to check in here. Um, so uh, this is our host. This host is now compatible with this. Let me log in this one. Yeah. All right. So now our uh, plan is to create so I'm going to create um a 
pretty soon. All right, so create a virtual machine where you can create any, any host. No, I cannot because all the host is not compatible to install um, macros uh, or to install uh, that what macros do. So this one is compatible right now because we just done the with unlocker. And I right click on this to get a new virtual machine. Um, which one gonna do this one? So my high seal Mac. You can say Mac M. It's not required to have the full name, but if you want, you can do that. So Mac DM Hi Sierra. And I forgot about the name. I don't know. This is, could be like 1.12114, something like this. One two. Um check max. Instead, what should be with this one is fine. And then now select the data store. So I have some virtual sense storage here. I, I can select this one. Maybe we work in the cluster. I'll click next. Um, compatibility with 6.7, you can leave it. Or you can, if your environment has uh, some other host, which is uh, 6.5 and that in that case you can do this one but in my case I have all the posts in 6.7 I don't need to do that click next windows other and then Apple Mac password is for 10.14 I believe my uh, my version uh, I see the version is 10.13 or something so I'm just going to select 10.13 click next now CPU depends on you how much CPU you want. I have a, I have used resource, so I can do whatever I want because I have enough resource. Uh, so the two socket and so for memory enough paste. Assign say uh, uh, network is network is fine, and now the uh, ISO file. So I get a really hard time to download the um, macOS ISO file because I love um, I I got a lot of resource for downloading, but whenever I download after download. The ISO doesn't work. When I was like on uh, uh, installation mode, it says uh, file corrupted or something. So I spent a lot of time because you know uh, the macOS ISO file is a big file, it's like almost eight gigabyte or ten gigabyte. Uh, so I spent a lot of time for that. But uh, anyway, somehow I got it. I collected the actual ISO file. So I I'll, uh, I'll upload this one to one of my storage. And I'll provide the link on my video description. So you can get it from the description box. Right. Okay. And yeah, make sure it's connected. This is supposed to be. It's supposed to be um, click next. Back again. Let's do another thing. 
game option, game of tools, just set upgrade. And for any kind of virtual machine creation, it's better to always select this game options than the game of tools. Check the upgrade. Uh, upgrade VMR tools before each power on. That means when the power on is going to check it and do install it. Uh, time, synchronize so the guest time with host. That means it will be successful. All right. We are done. Now finish. Status. Shouldn't be that slow. The reason is slow because I am getting on a nested use Excel with nested visa. Uh, That's the cause. It will take time. Uh, up to you guys. All right, so this is done, right? So I just need to right click on it. Um, power machine. Also, I need to it's a little bit slow, and this is all because of master uh, environment. All right, so look like this. It's loading. Good thing is it's loading. So yep, it's working. All right, so it's already loaded. Now it says yes English for the main language. You can select this one, go with this. Take a little bit time. Right, so macros to set up this installation macros to click continue. You can say you get to do that. Let's work for us. Oh, it's the same thing. Right. Say continue. And this is the agreement. Continue. Let's say agreement. Some My mouse is not working, just give me one second. Just a second, I need to change my. I was uh, better actually. This is not working. Okay. Sure.
agreed. And now it says there is no disk. How you can select the disk? US X based system and select the disk on which to install. In that case, you have to go to. Go to the utility and then say this utility. And from here, virtual, virtual disk. With and this name, so you can say uh, uh, high Sierra so high each. You can say I don't know, my keyboard is not letting me to change the name. When I type, it's just very um, That's the keyboard issue, nothing more. Okay, I, I'll, I'll leave it like whatever is there um, by default uh, untitled. You can see what it is. Expand it. You can see what I can do. Putting the position map. So I have to wait until it shows the down of the right is out. So it used to be new and then I can just all right, this is done. It, 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 done. Then now you can do it. Okay, now you are able to see this guy here. So select the disk and select say continue. So it's gonna take about 16 minutes. So actually, you don't need to wait. I'm going to pause the video and when it is done, I'll come back. All right, so it's look like it's done. So installation is done. Now we need to configure. Configure means we need to log in there. Uh, so United States by default is selected. You just need to click uh, continue. And then US continue. And I don't transfer my information now. It's fine. But, uh, enable location service. You can do that or you can do it later. Now. You have to sign in with your Apple ID. I have some, uh, I have some Apple ID with my Apple phone, but I don't want to use it. Uh, I want to create one new one. That's how it's work. All right, I tried to uh, create a new Apple ID, but somehow uh, I'm not able to do that. So I'm going to log in with my existing uh, Apple ID. Um, so for security purpose, I'm just going to pause this video. 
um, pause the recording and I'll, back, I'll come back like when it's able to log in. All right, now it's coming to me for providing the class code. All right. Look like it's loving. Okay, maybe it's another login. All right. Now it's looking for terms and conditions. So I need to AD and you can see every. So now the computer login. So I can keep it whatever I have, or I can just put in my short name and password for login this computer. And allow my Apple ID to reset this password. All right, set this to current location. All right, continue. So setting up accounts, it looks like it's fortunately setting up my account. So this is how you can build a Mac OS PM. Now it's actually, uh, this is my, this is my home lab. Um, and I have a lot of machine here. If you have just like a one server with like a couple of machine, in that case, you will get a better performance, but I have a lot of machines. Uh, that's why performance wise, I'm going slow. All right, so. Passcode, all right. So it's looking for my passcode. My phone passcode. Store files from documents and desktop in Cloud Drive. All of your files from documents folder and desktop will automatically update. Actually, this is a demo machine, so I don't need actually. Send diagnostic research data to a pool you don't need. And continue. The setting of a cloud is setting up the desktop for me. All right, so we're here.
So I just logged in. So now everything looks fine. This is completely Apple computer, but it's running on a virtual machine. All right, that's all. That's all for today. I'm going to stop my share. Stop my share. Um, if you guys think like you learned something from my video, please give a big thumbs up and also share with your friends and family, uh, like who needs to set up a virtual uh, Mac. And don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to click the bell icon because I'm uploading a lot more videos. So if you want to get my videos, please click the bell icon. And thank you, thanks for watching my video.